Hello everybody, it's Sonia. I'm back again now and I'm hoping that I can still continue on without to doing too much of a mess of this. Now, I've got the little pieces of... I'm going to cut this to fit on the sides, okay? So I want to, I'll do a strip off of here and I will cut it. I'm going to use the other side to mark it on because I'm terrible. I mark a, a lot of... Um, probably should have measured it, you know, but... I'm always marking on the wrong side. So if I take that strip across there, that line I'll cut there. I don't believe this. I was trying to be stingy with the paper. I've got the little squares so they can still come to something. I won't be getting rid of them, then will be fine. I probably need another one of this one right now. To my way of looking at it, this might be a bit too wide now. Okay, it is a tiny bit, isn't it? Because when you mark your, when you do your line and you're marking something out, because the pencil is thick and it's not um, sharp enough, you will get a, your line will be too thick and your measurement won't be right. And I don't know why that I know that and I haven't fixed that, you know? <laughs> like sharpen the pencil, Sonia. would probably be the way to go. Now, let me see. I don't think that's straight. I don't know what's the matter with this thing, but it must be me. I must be having a terrible time here trying to do this straight thing. There we go. What's going on now? There's a box that I haven't put a bit on here. There we go. That's better. I don't know what sort of is going on with that. But now, I'll just put a mark on the other side. Now, when I'm when I'm saying that the pencil is thick, and if you want the mark, to, if you want to cut it fair on that line, you have to cut it fair on that line. If you need it to be that wide, and did I find an imaginary line there? <laughs> oh, goodness me, I did. <laughs> Must have been a line from somewhere else. Here we go. There it is. There's that line. <coughs> oh, you ladies, I wonder if you haven't turned this off. If you have, well, I don't blame you. <laughs> sometimes I get, I get myself into such a tither sometimes, which I really shouldn't do, because if I stayed calm, I might get more done. You know, you might make so many mistakes. I'll try to stay calm anyway. Things are not hard. Things are not hard to do. It's just that if you do them really good and really careful, they work out really well but if you come at something and you're really panicking and I really was because I felt so bad that I hadn't done this to finish to show people how to finish making it make sure that you've got all your edges and that pressed right down when you put your glue on so you want to make sure that they're all good now I'm not going to move it away because I want to cut so I've done that one at the this will be the front, <coughs> which I haven't decided what to put on that yet. So the two sides I'm doing on each one of these. You don't have to worry about the back because it's glued to the thing. The thing being the cupboard or box or whatever it is we're making. So I'll put a mark there and I'm going to cut that. <coughs> and I hope you people can see what I'm doing. Maybe the cutting out you can't, but the rest of it maybe you've got a bit of an idea what I'm up to. Or do you hope so? If it's all, if it's all clear as mud, you'll have to tell me to do it again. Because I'm... Uh, I did sleep in this morning. It is Sunday, but... You shouldn't probably sleep in Sunday, but... <laughs> that matter. Half past seven I usually get up, but this morning I didn't get up till about ten o'clock. Well, I figured I must have needed that sleep, because I couldn't... I didn't wake up. And now we're starting to get into winter over here. Quite cosy. The time is... There you go, so now I've done the two sides of the boxes. And those ones there, of course, are <coughs> finished. You can line the inside if you wish. Um, or, instead of using this card here that I used, a heavy double-sided paper would work just as good and you could just, um, wouldn't have to worry about your inside bits because of the way that I folded those pieces to the outside and then cover them over you if you do that instead of folding the I mean to the inside if you can understand what I'm talking about the end bits <coughs> you're not going to have to worry about the, the inside at all 
But see, this is fairly strong and it's not going to go anywhere or break, uh, you know, because it's not going to be putting anything really heavy in there. But, you know, it's nice to hold some little buttons or some little um, bits and pieces that anybody has. So, um, on the rest of the front now, of these drawers, I'm going to put on... Let me see, what do I put on the rest of the drawer? I need the front on my drawers covered with something that will go with that and not um, overtake it sort of thing uh, because I wanted to I suppose it doesn't matter because well it does you've got to you, you try to get your your work so um, it all looks good and goes well together so you want to put that one there and I think I might put this one over here and then I've got to find a little something to go onto these two, okay. I've also put um, some pieces down here, you know, like that. Uh, there, if you can see what I'm trying to, to do here. Now, so I want to find something that's um, nice, but not, not too much. Um, let me see. I like this, I really like this here, blue, and I'll put some on that part. So I'm just sort of trying to figure out what, should I go with the spot on there? Should I just put that on there and just, just put something a bit, um, I don't know. Just, I'll have to switch this, turn it around a bit and see what it looks like. Excuse me. Um, let me see what, the, see what I'm doing here. Because it's very bright, you know, with the apricot orangey colours, because it's very bright, I'm thinking, you know, turn it down a tiny bit. Well, I'm going to be putting a picture of some sort in that section there. I'll put these here too, haven't I? I'm going to put something, something like that in that section. Very nice. Yeah. Maybe I could put the little stamps. Maybe I could put the little stamps. Um, I, I just want the right thing. <laughs> and it does take me a while to decide what I'm going to put as the right thing. And I'm sorry about that, but... I just don't want to, um, I might have to just see if I can lift this up a bit. What am I going to do here? Well, I guess that doesn't look too bad them together, does it? It's not too, too, bad, too much, is it? Okay, so, right. Um, got June written on. I don't know when this person's birthday is, so I don't think I can put that on there. I've got some little um, stamps on here. I think I might use those. I'll say stamps. They're, they're little flowers. Yeah. Because you've got to stick with something flat. Um, like I say, you, you need to have something flat so the box will still close. So I'll just cut these out and see what they look like on there. And uh, I'll have a go at that and see it. See how that looks. So if you put, um, I've got six stamps. I'll cut that in half. And you can't do that because <laughs> it's not right as we can all see it just does not look right okay but if I get some blue and put the blue behind it and then sit that on there that might work I might be pleased with that so I'll just cut this out to fit this this piece of this drawer Cut that out to fit on there. And hopefully I can just do this by eye because 
will save a lot of time if I can. So that'll go on there like so, and that will go on there, and then if I cover that with um, glossy accents after it's dry, I think I might have it right, I do. I'll just have a look, see what I've got here. So we need that bit on there with the edge. Leave it, leave it a little edge around the, the back. Okay, but you've never seen anybody make stuff like me. <laughs> I reckon, well, I'm a crafter and I just do things how I do them and I've never, I've never seen a tutorial on this yet. <laughs> I thought, well, I'll have a go myself. Um, I'm going to have to come back, you know, because I wanted to show you how to do the lid. And that's something that's very important and I'm fluffing around here. But we won't panic because um, I can do that. I can come back and show you how to do it. If you get bored from watching and you just want to do your own, you don't have to watch it, do you? That's a fair enough, fair enough thing. I'm just going to cut that straight across there. Because this is only a small piece, I'm not going to go to the, the cutting out thing. I wish I had a little tiny guillotine thing, you know, that you can just go snip instead of having to get that big part out. I'm getting everything stuck to the scissors. It happens when you use gluey things, do not it? Uh, so I'm going to stop mucking this up. Okay. Now that can go on there with the edge of the, the cream. Alright. I'm putting glue on, that's where I am. I'm over here putting glue on. I don't worry. Um, let's have a quick look at this camera and see how long I've got been doing this for. 11 minutes. Okay, right out. I don't want to go past 15. And I probably did on the last one. It takes too long to load them up. Um, and I'm just getting very impatient. And I want to go to bed. You know, and I don't want to, like to leave it going while I'm going to bed. A cat will trot over it or something, you know. Okay, so I'm going to put this onto here like that. There we go. So I've got these bits. I'll be back in a second and I'll do a bit more.